This was the call underneath. What a setup there by Roach. Mit Mitchell shuffled the feet. Yeah, I would shuffle my feet too if I saw Francis coming to block <laughs> my shot. Mitchell in disbelief. A missed opportunity, a chance to go up maybe six in this very close game. Pivotal. In this second half, Duke has had 10 more field goal attempts than Houston. Duke's 11 of 24. Houston has shot it well, but 9 of 14. It's a four-point game. Sharp's been very quiet, too. He's got to get busy. A lot relying on Cryer. And obviously, Roberts with the screening. Cryer. One-on-one. -on -one. Nice hands. And once again, it's Proctor. On his both ends. But it was a broken play right there. It looked like they were a little unorganized. Houston, Duke took advantage. Great hands. Contained the dribble. Sorry, Third Bart. steal for Tyrese Proctor. Duke's got possession. 2.20 to go, up by four on Houston. Back screen to big and a pop. Filipowski draws a double. Got two men to commit for a moment. Kick it out. McCain back for Filipowski. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. Filipowski stumbles. It's going the other way. Shot clock they're going to call. Maybe started a little bit late into their motion, but the good hands, good defense, good position. So it somehow stayed in bounds on the roll. They just ran out of time. Two minutes to go. And Francis in the right spot to help out, too. I wonder if Roberts goes back to that elbow where he had some success earlier. Here they go. Good call. So they're going to post him, though, instead. No points in two and a half minutes. Dunn Pass. sets it up. Roberts spins, kick. Dunn with 10 to shoot. They need points. Dunn doesn't get the ball. Oh, Stabs on the inside. Francis missed it. Point blank range. That's his game, too. Ooh, what an opportunity. A minute and a half remaining. 52-48, Duke. They're going to open up the middle. Here's Roach. 12 to shoot. Roach the drive. Fake. Jumper. Oh, this kid is clutch. Goodness. He doesn't mind the moment. And it's another March moment for Jeremy Roach. 14 points all in the second half. Trying to give Duke a little bit of breathing room with a spot in the Elite Eight on the line. Minute 13 on the clock. Duke 54, Houston 48. Duke getting some big plays. Jeremy Roach nailing the jump shot. Kelvin Sampson's family watching just behind the Cougars bench. And this is a nearly must-make situation now for Houston. Three points in the last five minutes for the number one seed in the South. And no point guard now. So Cryer's going to have to run the show, maybe give it up and get it back. Sharp's another big weapon, and Roberts, either the post up or right here, he's got to go right at it. Trying to get a quick hitter. Roberts cannot. Look at him go after it. Rebound action. He tries to he did it. knock it off, and he does. He bangs it off McCain and then falls into photographers. And Raph, that was two plays in a row. Missed shots, point blank. Roberts put great hustle there, not giving Effort. up. That's effort, that's heart right there. The previous possession, Francis missed as well. Not quitting at all, that's Houston basketball. We are under a minute to play. A good defense here by Duke. They go long for Roberts. Duke just needs really one stop right here. Trying to attack though. Done. Give it up. Sharp drives hey. in, the Euro, he hangs and hits. And one, plus the foul. Wow, how about that? Like he lost the ball and fumbled it before he attacked off the bounce. And it's Ryan Young who is done Pretty for the good. night. Stayed with it though, known as a shooter. Boy, he is impressive. Physical presence at the rim. So the quota for Ryan Young four points, four rebounds. Houston can make this a one possession game with a make at the line from Emmanuel Crash Sharp. Right now, with, with Young fouling out, both teams using it as a timeout opportunity. A freebie. A worker on the floor now.
set up their full court action after the make. Helpless situation for Jamal Shedd, who would be the man handling all of these moments for Houston. So it's sharp to the line, where he's two of two, 85% on the season. Fantastic sophomore year. Doubled his scoring. It's a three-point game. Well, Houston right now needs is a stop. Yeah. They're in good shape. I'm going to play this trip out. I think you got to keep in motion if you're going to run the clock a little bit, just so you're in action. I think it's going to be Roach, Filipowski, screen and roll. And I think you got to get in the lane somehow, whether it's a ball screen or just individual ability. Roach, fend off. Nine to shoot. Look at that help. Give it up, Filipowski. In and out. Rebound. Houston's got it. The door is open. 20 seconds left. Cougars are down by three. They got the timeout. Oh, what a good look Filipowski had. It was the right read, yeah. too. Yeah. Free throw line yeah. jump shot. Maybe his easiest uncontested shot of the game. Just could not convert. That's like a layup at this level where they really diffuse the double. And then to secure the rebound right here. A lot of bodies in there. Mitchell on the glass. Somehow they just are terrific. Houston coming up uh, with missed shots. Both ends of the floor. Houston has one timeout remaining. Just a resilient group. And now you got to think a little bit. If you keep them out on the floor, what are you going to do with five, six seconds? Are you going to give them a three? Or are you going to give it? I mean, it's, it's a big decision. But I think if you have an opportunity, maybe for some sort of flare screen or something yeah. to get sharp open or even crier. Right. But how late but you keep them on the clock is a decision for Duke, too. Right. If you are going to give it, when do you give it? Well, Houston, not a great free throw shooting team outside of Sharp and Cryer. Are you thinking maybe if Francis gets a touch, you give him one? Possibly. Don't tell Shaq I said that. <laughs> <laughs> they are two of seven from three-point territory. You know it's going to be Sharp or Cryer getting the ball back after Cryer inbounds it. They're going to add a little bit of time, 16.3. Cryer, the trigger man. Houston down by three. Little pin down to get Sharp a touch. It's Sharp. 14 seconds. Cryer drives in, looking for two. Didn't have the angle. And knocked out of bounds. Houston's going to retain with 8.9. Boy, what an opportunity to seal it. He went for the quick two right here. We can take a look now. It looked like it was off Mitchell. That was the call. Cryer was able to get back in bounds and make a play on the ball there. They're adding some more time too. And now you've got to think three. I, I, I think, think so. they're used to. Uh. All right, Gene Steratore joining us right now. Just watch the sequence of events. Take us through. Yeah, I've got it off Mitchell, Ein. I think what they're really looking at, I think Mitchell pushes through there. There's the last fingers to touch. It's where that basketball lands, too, because we know it has to hit something out of bounds, and it takes a pretty good shot, I think, almost behind the cheerleaders. So I think that's what may take some time for them to find exactly where this basketball lands out of bounds so they can get the time right. Yeah, the ball got popped in the air. The call was made immediately by Jeffrey Anderson. And now the big thing is the inbounds pass. The inbound passer is a danger. Let me take another look at this. So that's when it's up in the air. The clock is still rolling. Yeah, it did go far into the back there. Maybe they'll take some time off the clock. So it's still in the air, still in the air. Bounces yeah. right there, right around yeah. where we ended. Up yeah, at that's right. Point nine. They got it right. And getting back to the inbounder, he's important, whether it's prior, which they did earlier. The ability to pin down a lot of people push one side and throw it cross court on occasion. I, I don't think they have to do that on this situation. Too much of a gamble and plenty of time. You might have time for two, maybe three passes yeah. on this inbounds play. Right. 
You know, a lot of things people like to run through is a baseline bump. Get it inbounds, pin on the baseline, go to the far corner. But, but keep this in mind. Houston has four team fouls. So if they were to go in and take a quick two and then think about the foul game, you have to foul a lot. Mm -hmm. Basically, their only choice now, in my mind, using the data, is take a three. Yeah, right. No, I, I agree with that. I'm wondering if Francis gets a touch if they give one. I think you got to go to Sharp here. 8.9 on the clock. Sharp or Cryer. And there's a double whammy. Houston down by three. Wilson triggers in. Sharp, seven seconds, six seconds. Sharp, jumper for the tie. It's short. I thought he made it. He's out of bounds going the other way. Point eight on the clock. Sharp got a good look. Boy, he worked diligently to extricate himself. And the constant defense. Proctor didn't foul, challenged. All Duke has to do is get it in cleanly. Filipowski comes to the ball, and that's it. Duke goes from sweet to elite. They knock off the one seed in the South. Duke is in the Elite Eight after a 54-51 win against Houston. The Cougar season comes to an end with their leader, Jamal Shedd, out with an ankle injury. Duke does enough.